Hi, my name is Ashley Borowski. I'm Marketing Manager at Lillian Associates. And I'm Luis Gomez, Business Development with Lillian Associates International. Lillian Associates is a full-service transportation and logistics provider specializing in ocean freight, uh, headquartered actually in Miami, Florida, with offices around the globe. Um, Louis, can you give us a little bit of a brief synopsis on what RORO and LOLO mean? Certainly, Ashley, I'd be happy to. Well, I'm sure you've all heard these terms at one time or another in your your day-to-day. -day. And uh, let's lead with uh, uh, LOLO. LOLO is uh, L-O slash L-O, and that uh, stands for lift on, lift off. Now, what is lift on, lift off? That generally applies, or mostly applies, to containerized cargo. Containers, uh, when they're handled at the port, they're lifted on and lifted off the ship via a, a gantry crane. So the operation, it's a mechanized operation, obviously, and it's done with gantry crane. Short side gantry cranes, the vessel works under the gantry, and the containers are brought alongside. The gantry crane lifts the container up and positions it on the vessel. Then, of course, when it arrives at the port of destination, they're lifted off the ship, thus lift on, lift off. Then from there, we move to another term that you will have heard, which is RORO. R-O slash R-O, which stands for roll on, roll off. Here, unlike the LOLO, the lift on, lift off, the ships have a ramp uh, from the key or the, uh, uh, from the port to the ship and the containers or trailers in this, well, it could be a container on a chassis or it could be from rolling stock, it could be a, a truck, a piece of wheeled earth moving machinery or it could be a, uh, a trailer, uh, but it needs to be on wheels. Therefore, it's rolled on the ship, and then at destination, it's rolled off the ship. So there you have it. Lift on, lift off. You lift it on the ship, and you lift it off the ship. Roll on, roll off. You roll it aboard, and you roll it off the ship at destination. And then the final term is break bulk. Nothing's broken. That's just a, term, a matter of speech. Uh, break bulk is applies to freight that is not containerized. In other words, it does not fit in a container. And uh, think of, uh, for example, as large uh, generators or a large piece of earth moving machinery that does not fit in a container, uh, or uh, some large pieces of a bridge or girders or, or a jetway for an airport, for example. These things, uh, uh, you can't get them in a container, and they don't have wheels, so you can roll them on and off, or maybe the ship doesn't, it is not prepared for roll. Not all ships are roll on, that's a specialized type of vessel. So these are received uh, at the port on any conveyance, such as a truck or a platform, and then they're loaded on the ship directly from the key, directly onto the ship as brake bulk, as loose cargo, uh, so to speak. And uh, it, in the trade is generally known as brake bulk. And that's about it, Ashley. You've got lift on, lift off, roll on, roll off, and brake bulk, and that about covers it. Great, thank you. Thank you.